Star, I would love to bring up an interesting piece of information. You can drive on the street without a driving license or even travel abroad without a passport. Strange, isn't it? Are you thinking that it is a new law? Actually, it is not. The law is dated from a long time ago. If you were this only person in this world, the Queen of the United Kingdom, Elizabeth II. Amazing, right? And that is not everything, because those privileges are only two among a lot of special power of the Queen. But first, to get more amusing information like what we're about to bring, remember to press the subscribe button and hit the notification bell on our YouTube channel. Now, let's find out about the special powers of Queen Elizabeth II. Queen Elizabeth II was born on April the 21st, 1926, and is the daughter of King George VI and Queen Elizabeth I. She officially crowned the Queen of the United Kingdom on June the 2nd, 1953, after the death of her father more than a year ago. As of 2021, Queen Elizabeth II has been in power for 69 years, becoming the longest-serving ruler of the United Kingdom. Because of her noble royal status, she has this following special powers. Although driver's licenses are issued in the name of Queen Elizabeth II, she is the only individual in the UK who doesn't need a license or a license plate to drive. Though she did not have to take the driving exam, in the past, the Queen has learned to drive a truck, repair cars, and had good driving skills. When she served in World War II, she was also the only royal woman to join the army during wartime. Also, Queen Elizabeth II is like no other member of the royal family. The Queen of the UK does not need a passport to travel abroad because other countries are exempt from visas for her. Other than that, the Queen is not subject to criminal prosecution because everyone in the royal family never thinks of committing a crime. Any influence made on the name of their country would impact directly on their wealth and well-being. Although Queen Elizabeth II's official date of birth is on April the 21st, she also has an unusual birthday, which is celebrated on a Saturday in June, the day she was crowned Queen of the UK at Buckingham Palace. Both of the Queen's birthdays are solemnly celebrated with cannon firings. Besides Buckingham Palace and several palaces in Australia, Queen Elizabeth also owns a stretch of the Thames and some certain tributaries. These properties are granted ownership to the British Royal. It's a huge economic, touristic, and commercial fortune. Thanks to which, all members of the Royal family can always maintain their affluent life. The Queen of the UK owns a variety of aquatic animals in British waters such as sturgeon, whales, dolphins, etc. According to the Times magazine, this law has existed since 1324 under the reign of King Edward II till present. The UK values swans. They are a symbol of the nature of this country. Therefore, if you are caught beating or slaughtering swans, you will face a very serious crime sentencing. In actual law, all unmarked swans belong to the Queen, although the Queen exercises her right only over some certain sections of the Thames and its nearby tributaries. Nowadays, the Swan Census is conducted every year in which the swans of the Thames are captured necklaced and released back free as an annual tradition. Besides the United Kingdom, Australia and Canada, the Queen is also head of state of Jamaica, New Zealand and Solomon Islands and Tuvalu, etc. All of these countries are parts of the British Commonwealth. 
Therefore, as the head of state of Australia, the Queen has certain powers over the government and can dissolve or make change to the entire Australian cabinet. Queen Elizabeth II is the head of the Church of England, the state religion of England, which was established by King Henry VIII when he decided to split from the Catholic Church in Rome in the 16th century. Her official title is the Defender of the Faith and Supreme Governor of the Church of England, and she also has the power to appoint bishops and archbishops. However, similarly done to many of her other powers, this right shall only be exercised on the advice of the Prime Minister, who will personally take advice from the Church Commission. All royal revenues and expenditures are tax-free because all assets in the UK are thought to belong to the royal family. Therefore, whether they pay taxes or not, that property is still theirs to use. Despite that fact, the Queen has voluntarily paid personal income tax and investment profit tax since 1992. Number 9. Knighthood, Appointment to the Nobility This is a right that best demonstrates the personal ownership of an imperial empire. The Queen of England can appoint someone she feels confident and able to work into the line of aristocracy. At the same time, she can review and knight anyone, anywhere. A knighthood is a title given to someone who is not part of the royal family but greatly contribute to the protection and building of the royal family. Among those who were knighted by Queen Elizabeth II are billionaire Bill Gates, famous singer Elton John, and Lewis Hamilton. Any draft bill that wishes to be incorporated into British law must be approved and signed by the Queen. That is considered royal approval. Only then are they issued and enforced. This right must have had a great influence on the British government and their people. Those are the special powers of Queen Elizabeth II. Which power do you think is the most impressive? Please leave your comments under the video and see other opinions below. If any of you forgot to subscribe and press the notification bell on our YouTube channel, let's spare 3 seconds to complete the action to further our companionship. For now, goodbye and see you again!